The show begins with a flashback to a party six years ago. Our main character, Mo Ning, is celebrating her son's first birthday with her husband, Li Shi Chong, and his family. Suddenly, tragedy strikes when Ning's grandfather has a terrible accident. He slips on the stairs and falls to the ground, losing his life. Cheng's stepmother, Nina, accuses Ning of causing the accident and even shows a fake video to support her claim. Shockingly, Cheng doesn't defend his wife and chooses to trust his mother instead. Ning is then removed from the house, forcing her to leave her son behind. Feeling helpless, Ning walks alone on a rainy night, wondering how she can regain custody of her child and win her husband back. Unbeknownst to Ning, her stepsister orchestrated the entire scheme because she wanted to marry Chang and gain a share of his family's wealth. Fast forward to the present. Ning has become a successful designer after completing her studies. She decides to confront Cheng's family and seek revenge for what they did to her. Without wasting any time, Ning arrives at Cheng's family home and faces his mother and stepsister. Nina immediately recognizes her and continues to hurl insults at her. However, Ning surprises everyone by revealing a bundle of papers, proving that she was pregnant with twins when they kicked her out. Outside, Ning encounters Cheng, who approaches her and apologizes for not believing in her. He asks her to forget about the past and return to his life. Cheng mentions their struggling garment company and suggests that Ning take over and bring it to new heights. Just then, their son Kun arrives and Ning embraces him tightly. Cheng expresses the importance of being together for their children and the company's future. Overwhelmed, Ning agrees to rejoin the company solely for the sake of her children. The next day, Ning arrives at the company in a confident manner, but is denied entry by her stepsister, Louis. The latter purposely locks the entrance, forcing Ning to find another way in. Once inside her office, Ning receives an email from someone named Mr. P, revealing that her grandfather's death was not an accident, but a deliberate act. Shocked by this revelation, Ning demands more information. However, the vague Mr. P suggests that Ning investigate and uncover the real culprit on her own. Later in the evening, Ning picks up her twins from school and brings them to Cheng's house. Nina reluctantly allows her in, emphasizing that she is only allowing Ning to stay for the sake of the children. Determined, Ning goes straight to Cheng's room and discovers her children's photos in his drawer. She suspects Cheng had known about their existence all along and had been secretly watching her. On the other hand, Louis meets with a person named Zhou and tells him everything about Ning's return to Cheng's life. Zhou responds by stating that they will again devise a plan and send Ning away as they did six years ago. The next day, Ning goes directly to the hospital to uncover the truth about her grandfather's medical report. She speaks with the doctor and learns that the old man didn't die because of an accidental fall, but was actually poisoned. Meanwhile, Chang asks the office staff about Ning's whereabouts and upon discovering that she has gone to the hospital, rushes there in his car. Ning leaves the hospital with the original medical report of her grandfather, pondering how to find the murderer. Unfortunately, she is attacked by a group of thugs outside the hospital who snatch the report from her. Fortunately, Chang arrives in time to rescue her, but gets injured in the process. The following day at the office, Ning gets into a heated argument with an old and ineffective employee named Anka. Louis also gets involved taking Anka's side and speaking ill about Ning. However, when the argument reaches Chang, he supports Ning's decision to fire Anka and gives her full authority to run the company as she sees fit. Louis is shocked by Cheng's words and storms out of the office. Later that night, while the whole family gathers for Cheng's birthday celebration, his mother asks Ning to step outside for a private conversation. She presents her with a blank check, urging her to walk out of their lives. Surprisingly, Ning, who is determined to find her grandfather's murderer, refuses to give in and comply. Louis observes the encounter from a distance with an angry expression. In the next scene, while Ning and Cheng are attending a singing competition with their children, Nina talks to Louis and shows her a piece of sad news about their company. The news states that customers who bought clothes from their company are experiencing allergies, with some being hospitalized. Nina questions Louis if she's responsible for it, but the latter denies it outright. Soon after, a group of protesters enter the company's office and blame Ning for causing the allergies through irresponsible design and selection of fabrics. They warn the staff to fire Ning and replace her. Similarly, during an employee meeting, the officials suggest that Cheng remove Ning from her senior role. However, he refuses to listen and instead proposes investigating the matter to punish the true culprit. He then enters the lab and begins testing the designer clothes, only to discover that they contain a substance which causes irritation. In the meantime, Ning returns to her office and messages Mr. P, explaining the entire situation. The anonymous responds, revealing that there is someone within her company who is targeting her and doesn't want her to succeed. Intrigued, Ning asks Mr. P how he knows all this and why he is helping her. In response, Mr. P confesses that he is a criminal seeking to alleviate his guilt by assisting those in need. Shortly after, Ning's secretary enters the room and informs her that one of their clients wants to cancel their contract with the company. Later that night, Ning meets with the client at a bar to discuss the contract. However, things take a dark turn when the client insists that Ning have a drink and she complies to the request. As the effects of the drink start to show, the client begins recording the incident on his phone and tries to force himself on her. 
Luckily, Cheng receives a notification about Ning's location and rushes to the bar, sensing that his wife is in trouble. He arrives just in time to rescue Ning from the situation. Cheng then confronts the perverted client, grabbing him by the collar and punching him, demanding to know how he dared misbehave with his wife. Terrified, the client apologizes and explains that he had no idea Ning was his wife. Cheng then warns him to treat Ning with respect before returning home. In the next scene, Ning and Chen decide to visit their garment factory to investigate the issue with the fabric used in their clothes. To their astonishment, they discover some individuals burning samples of the clothes. Cheng tries to chase them away, but fails to catch up. They then decide to take some clothes to the lab for testing. Following this, they visit the hospital to donate a large sum of money to the patients who suffered from allergies caused by their clothes. Returning home, the couple has a conversation with Nina. Louis also enters the room and joins them. Surprisingly, Nina reprimands Louis, questioning her dishonesty and manipulative behavior. Louis tries to defend herself, but Chang reveals that she is responsible for causing the allergies in their customers. She was also the one who secretly added the chemicals to the fabrics, as she didn't want Ning to become successful. Hearing all this, Nina chastises Louis for her actions and demands that she leave the house. The latter angrily complies and goes straight to Chang's office. She then looks through his stuff and finds Ning's grandfather's file on his desk. Surprisingly, Louis marks a cross on the old man's picture, making it appear as if Chang planned the murder and killed his grandfather. Meanwhile, Ning is playing with the children, enjoying some quality time with them. Suddenly, she receives a message from Mr. P instructing her to check Chang's office. Following the message, Ning enters her husband's room and discovers her grandfather's picture inside a file with a cross mark on it. After reading the file, she assumes that Cheng is the one responsible for planning and intentionally killing her grandfather. Consequently, she stops answering his calls and messages. Later that night, confused and troubled, Cheng returns home and sits with his children. The children sense a tension between their parents and suggest that their father spend more time with their mother. They help him create a romantic atmosphere before Ning arrives home. When she rings the doorbell, the children bring her to the beautifully decorated space, where Cheng waits for her on his knees, holding a ring. He then proposes marriage to her again to get her back into his life. Overwhelmed with emotions, Ning forgets everything and accepts his proposal. However, the next day, she pulls Cheng aside and returns the ring, explaining that she doesn't want to repeat the events of six years ago. She also accuses him of not believing her in the past and preventing her from leaving. In a flashback, we see Cheng leaving the house in the rain after his mother instructed the security to throw Ning out. Unfortunately, Ning has already left and cannot be found, despite looking all around for her. Back to the present, Chang finds himself at a bar drowning his sorrows in alcohol. Surprisingly, Louis approaches him and consoles him, stating that Ning is not good for him and instead, he should marry her. She then takes him to a hotel room, attempting to take advantage of the situation. Inside the room, she tries to be intimate with him, but Cheng regains his senses and pushes her away. He firmly expresses his disinterest in her and affirms his unwavering love for Ning. Meanwhile, Ning grows worried when Cheng doesn't return home on time. She calls him and through his speech, discovers that he is drunk. Angry, she goes to his location and confronts him about his irresponsible behavior. Cheng questions why she is ignoring him, to which Ning reveals that she has found evidence against him and suspects his involvement in her grandfather's death. Cheng instantly denies the accusation and mentions that he loved her grandfather as much as she did. He then promises to help her find the real culprit. Cheng discloses that the same poison used to kill her grandfather is being used to create irritation in the fabric. The next day, Cheng arrives at the office and immediately fires Louis from her job. This embarrasses the villain so much that she decides to take revenge against Cheng and Ning. For this, Louis hatches a devious plan and successfully kidnaps their son, Kun. She then contacts Ning and informs her about the kidnapping. When our heroine starts freaking out, Louis demands a ransom of 10 million won and instructs her to bring the money to a secluded location. However, unbeknownst to Louis, Ning informs Cheng of her location and her intentions before leaving the house with the money. Ning reaches the destination spot and witnesses Louis torturing her son. She pleads with the evil woman to stop and agrees to fulfill her demands. To her dismay, Louis reveals her deep-seated hatred for their grandfather and confesses to killing him. She explains that the grandfather never treated them equally and had discovered Louis' plans to sabotage Ning. In the last scene, Louis informs Ning that she must take her own life by jumping into the nearby river, or else her child will be killed. Desperate to save her child, Ning decides to jump, but Cheng arrives just in time to intervene. The police also arrive rescuing the innocent parties, while Louis is charged with the grandfather's murder. The show concludes with Ning and Cheng growing closer to each other and promising to stay together for the rest of their lives.